How long has it been? And off again, my lady. Hmm. Hoping you could read all the letters that have been sent to you. I'll read this this evening after I come back. If you could prepare the documents I need so I can draft my replies. Yes, I already brought the documents for your next month's weather visions to your quarters. Have a safe time while you're away, and please return soon. You say hardships are necessary for personal growth. Still, maybe I'm putting too much on her. He's racing right now. He turned his liking somewhat. I should offer a prayer. I thought I would receive a vision, but I guess it's not that easy. I better get going. I need to confirm my dream. Is a big tree. being there. All the business being everywhere. You know, there's that little bit with the thief. And uh, there was really no follow-up on it, and I'm really curious about what happened with that. This is the document I spoke of earlier. You should use this as a reference for next month's ceremony. Thank you very much for your help. I'm just fulfilling my duty as an advisor. The ceremony must proceed as... The Thief! From uh, from the first time when you controlled Donna, that's been a long time, Lady Ergonata. I hope my predecessor is doing well. She is more bedridden than ever these days, but otherwise she is in good health. I believe that is due to your good guidance as the maiden. Mm, I'm still nothing compared to her, though. I don't know about that. I'd say you're doing a fine job. By the way, do you have plans somewhere today? You look like you're about to leave. Y yes, well... My lady, are you... Actually, we need the Maiden to personally tend to a matter that has arisen elsewhere. My Priestess Olga? I understand. I see you are very busy right now. Please forgive my impertinence. No, it's quite alright. I'd be happy to share some of the details with you. Please, Lady Yurganada, let's go inside. Yes, I will oblige. As the Maiden of the Great Tree is your duty to bring peace and guidance to the world. So it was decided by the First Maiden herself many years ago. Though your duty may weigh heavy upon you, I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm never gonna feel at ease around her. <laughs> anyway, Olga can deal with her. I need to head out. Dream I had this morning. I don't think it was just a dream. No, Donna, it was the future or another reality. The swordsman was on the back road. Going east through the mountain gate might be the fastest way. the maiden. Good morning, your eminence. Oh, Dran and Rastel. All right. Enjoy dinner, Jonathan. You're patrolling this route this morning? I am, at least. <laughs> I'm paying close attention to my father so I can better learn the ropes of being a guard. And yet, you seem to do little more than follow my every step like a needful pup. Your antics are the reason my men disrespect me when they think my back is turned. Don't worry, Father. I'm just getting some early training in before I actually enlist. That's all. <laughs> Same as ever, I see. Mm. Huh? Actually, Rustle, have you gotten taller since I last saw you? You haven't stopped growing like a weed since the day you became taller than me. <laughs> you better slow down soon before you tower over your fellow guards. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Just wait, your eminence. I'm gonna be a great guard someday. I promise. And once I do, I'll protect you. Oh my. I look forward to that day. Our elite guards are the pride of this kingdom. I will be watching your career with great interest. <laughs> I won't let you down. Good heavens. My apologies. Please hey. forgive my son. He knows not what he speaks. Do you intend to travel beyond the city limits, your eminence? There have been more reports than usual of wild saurians roaming the roads. I know I need not be concerned for your safety, but... Do be careful, nonetheless. Thank you, Dran. Blessings of the Great Tree be upon you. And blessings to you too, Your Eminence. gate it was closed which is probably why I already have it man how well she's supposed to use these weapons.
something. See something. I see something that uh, I don't have any NPCs to attack and and screw up my day. Plant eaters. That fruit looks delicious. I don't expect to find an old waterway here. It appears very old. It's filled in with the debris and clearly has not been in use for some time. Swordsman. Hmm. That's going to take a while, but I'm going to try to fix this waterway. Yes, she does slashing damage. Hmm, much better. Oh, I mustn't linger here. I need to go. Yes, there's a uh, plant-eating Saurian down there, and I don't have any NPC companions to, to attack it randomly and ruin my day. inside my head. I don't think I can ignore this. I'd better look around. <laughs> essence mass? Is there a disturbance in the Earth's essence? I don't usually come across these very often. Oh, someone help me. Is this the source of that voice? Only one way to find out. Freedom! Wonderful! I feared I would lead away. Not far, you? Oh, forgive me. My name's Jenya, Spirit of Life. So thou art the one who came to my aid. Thank me for saving my life. My name is Dana Kusha. Hmm. Huh. Surprised I'm actually meeting a real spirit. Only those with powerful essence can sense the presence of spirits. At least that's what I've been taught. Oh, it is quite remarkable for one of your kin to observe us. 
We are the embodiment of the Earth's power, a power thus known as essence. You could say that our kind came into being due to a disturbance in that aforementioned power. You see, are you sure you should be telling me this? Oh, it is rare that we are afforded the chance to converse with mortals. As a token of my gratitude, I shall grant thee my protection. Wouldst thou be so kind as to relax for me? Oh, is this good? sensation my body feels so warm sixthly the UV spirits are essence incarnate many of us possess extraordinary powers please accept these from me as well may they serve thee well someday oh, beautiful stones are you sure I can have these worry not for these stones are proof that thou rescued me as well as proof that our encounter was not entirely by chance. I'm not sure I understand what you mean, but thank you, Jenya. Oh, something is tickling at me. I'm afraid I must leave thee now. Now thou hast freed me, I'm not so free as to remain confined once but I bid thee farewell, Dana. Till next our paths cross again. Just like that, she's gone. Hmm. Other spirits might be closer than I realized. I'm sure I'll meet more if I just keep my eyes open. We did it! Donna's area unit can find trapped spirits and essence rifts. Examine the essence rifts you come across. Alright. I should go where the red haired swordsman went. If I remember correctly, it should be west of here. means not east. Oh, what a pleasant breeze. Much better. I think I'll continue on my way. Oh, the weather is very nice today. Lessons of the great tree be upon me. There's the stairway, okay. Its color eludes me, but yes, I'm certain of it. Donna! Sorry for the delay. Have you learned anything new? Yes. Was it the future after all? Yes. Unfortunately. I see. 
This is the Earth's essence crystallized. What are you doing? A prayer tree sapling? Why would you plant this here? Where were you carrying it? Because they couldn't advance. He seemed very troubled by that. But what are you talking about? I hope this young sapling will guide them. Hi, hey, Silexandria. Silexandra. I'm doing all right. I hope you are as well. Just stopped moving, then you fell where you stood. Scared the hell out of us. You feeling okay? Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay. Ooh, glad to hear that. You touched that weird crystal over there, and then you fell down. <laughs> What's wrong? Cleaning out some eye boogies? <laughs> like, um, no, this thing wasn't here. But we touched the crystal before. What the? What are you two? tree is forming a bridge it's just like when we had the with with the gorge but this tree wasn't here before when how did you do this at all Try to, to explain what exactly he saw Donna do. I'm sorry, at all. This is very difficult to process. So you're saying Donna's actions had something to do with this? After seeing this tree show up out of nowhere, it's kind of hard not to believe. True. Perhaps this is the same phenomenon that occurred in the Great Valley. It doesn't matter. We have a path now. Yeah, now that I think about it, that thing with the Great Valley did happen right after the dream where she planted the first prayer sapling. Let's move that all. Uh, let's not do that again. this tree is shaped it's almost like it's guiding us does this mean donna's prayers were answered i don't know but i'm glad this worked out It's sort of like the uh, times are running in sync with each other, or it's like they're alternate dimensions that that affect each other more than more than it's time travel. This 
place is messed up. These buildings are enormous. What could they have been used for? But, 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 there, there's treasure behind it. Who cares if it's locked? <laughs> Tell as we got closer to these ruins that this place is bigger than I thought. Ricardo, why can't you jump that high when when we're exploring? Indeed, it would be no exaggeration to call this a city. I've never seen anything like this before. Buildings are so tall up close. Luxia. Is where you live even more amazing than this place? Uh, yes, of course. Um, D6 cutscene. I'm hard pressed to recall a single building in Aresia as magnificent as these. How could ruins this ancient be so architecturally advanced? You think my father's here? It's certainly possible. Really? Yes. As an explorer, I doubt he would pass on the opportunity these ruins present. Well, let's start looking for her father. Many thanks, Adol! Let's search the city and see what we find. Terror cat. Look at all a wide open area. Is this where the market used to be? Hmm. Now that you mention it, this could have been a marketplace. Don't let Dina know. Huh? What is it? I see that over yonder. It did look like someone walking away. Then let's follow him. Yeah, let's get him. There he is, Adol. Yes, Terry Cat, it's always okay if you lurk. I'm happy to have people lurking and just listening. Let's follow him. Ha! Oh, come on. Is that man? He ran away as soon as he spotted us. <laughs> I think he's trying to trap us like those cute little primordials. Enjoy your lurk, Terror Cat. Hey, don't be mean, Sahad. I wouldn't entirely rule that out, though. Let's be careful as we pursue him. Why else would he be running away? I don't get it. What's he afraid of? Building over there doesn't look like it was destroyed by natural weathering. Huh? How do you figure? It almost looks like it was caught in a powerful impact. Now that you mention it, a lot of these buildings look blown apart. Wonder what happened here. I don't know, Kia, if I were stranded on an island with no one else around, 
I don't think I'd be running away from anyone. Especially when the when the when the other choices are dinosaurs that want to eat me. But you know, it's just me. He ran into that building. Yeah, now he's got nowhere left to run. Checkmate. I don't know about that. Last time we thought we had someone cornered, they just... They got all antsy about it. Look. It appears to be a dwelling of sorts, but I don't see anyone around. That can't be right. I saw that guy run in here. Something's definitely in here. Let's see. Guess we'll look around. Oh, I don't see anyone in here. There's a whole nother room. And all of a sudden we're finding locked boxes. I know, Kia. I don't see him at all. There are so many places that are out of sight. myself. Those beasts were waiting for us. Did that man set a trap for us? I'm not sure. I don't think those beasts and that man are connected at all. Where'd he go? I don't know, but look around for a second. Notice the placement of the windows and the size of the door of this room. Doesn't this dwelling feel too big for humans to have lived in? the window it was self-defense Kia maybe you ever used to live here was taller than most folks no the other buildings are about the same size and could this mean the inhabitants of the city were significantly taller than average Just how tall is Donna? She seems short, but... Huh? Look. Everyone else in her area. He's elusive. How did he get out of that house before us? It's true, Kia. 
Maybe she's only 10 feet tall. As opposed to 12 or 13 feet like everyone else. I think he might actually be toying with us. Ridiculous tall build. Makes my neck hurt. This is the temple. You're referring to your dreams. The temple is located south of the city in the outskirts. In a way, this is another place you saw in your dreams, yeah? It looks really run down, though. Yes, yeah, so what Adel saw must have occurred in the past. No. We can discuss that later. Right now, we need to search this area. Indeed! Let's find that guy! Out of the way. A treasure chest. I found a treasure. Oops, stone. What's a hope stone? Oopstone is pretty nice, actually. I don't think you need this anymore. Ah, uh, doesn't look like we can get through. Yes, it seems the building fell on this bridge. Let's find the way through, Apple. What? No, we just send a help request. For people to uh, move it all for us. Statues of primordials. Humans and primordials live together? It's not possible. Primordials have been extinct long before humans first appeared. So, what does this suggest about the people who once lived here? Axia. Primordials were extinct long before humans lived here. <laughs> lived. Also, we've been fighting them. is impossible for you to read. Okay, 
him again. Man, that guy is quick. We'll capture him next time. If we didn't stop and, you know, chat about it every time. off on a saddle. Come on, let's get going. We appear to be missing a building. Kia. I was just thinking how cute a butt I'd have if I were a girl. Yeah, doesn't look like anyone's here either. She's right behind us. Kia, I said, no, Adel's thinking, thinking, wow, I th I'd have such a cute butt if I were a girl. scare us like that. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You were lined up perfectly. You have the same voice actor as Sahad. Father? Huh? Father! Ricota! Long time no see! Huh? Wait. Yeah. This man? He's your... Shove the Picard in his face. Yes, I'm Thanatos Beldine, seasoned explorer and Rakota's uh, father. I don't know, it's because she's hanging off of his off of his neck. And He's moving back and forth, so she's swaying back and forth. He's older than I had imagined. Who might you be? I'm not saying it's not Kia. Adel told Thanatos about everything that had happened up until this point. Sounds like you guys have been through a lot. Strange for me to see so many new faces. I was alone when I washed ashore here. Where have you been, Father? I was worried sick about you. Hey, don't get so upset with me. I noticed an unexplainable spike in primordial activity not long ago. I set out to explore the northern region, but I only made it as far as the mountain ridge and a pterosaur scooped me up. Flew me all the way to its nest in the northern region. A pterosaur? How the hell are you still alive? And my options were try to escape or get eaten, so I took my chances with the former. Thankfully it worked, and I've been exploring this region ever since. Since I had a bird's eye view of the island before, I was able to find my way to these ruins. I guess Lady Luck hasn't left me for a younger man just yet. <laughs> Funny you should mention being captured by a primordial. 
The same thing happened to me. Oh, I did it now. Yeah, but everyone saved me. Well, that was awfully nice of them. Any friends seem all right by me. <laughs> They're like two peas in a pod. Yes, he seems to have a devil may care attitude about his predicament. a little bit more. Take it for me. Silent will put you through the ringer if you let it. That's why you need to have a sense of humor to help you get through the hard times. Sense of humor is the most important thing there is. Sense of humor. So your tea. Thanatos Beldine. Yes, I'm sure of it. I have a delivery for you. Please confirm the contents of this package. Delivery? Don't tell me you've been working this whole time. To deliver this package to one Thanatos building, yes. Ah, that's right, you mentioned you were a transporter. So, you have a package for a guy who's been stranded here for over a year. He, uh... Same place that he's carrying his rifle. The same place that Ricotta's carrying her maces. The same place that Donna carries her swords. In hammer space. I guess that I guess that Thanatos has been here about over a year. These are my favorite pickles. Uh huh? Pickles. And this sort of looks like a sketch of some sort. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. If not, this might jog your memory. Oh, are you going to punch him? Are you going to punch him? No. I'll reach into his pocket and took out a small bottle. Oh, that's right. I wrote this message and put it in a bottle and cast it out to sea. Hell's going on. Um, may I see that message? Laxia took the message from Thanatos and began to read it. What's it say? Just a minute. Hmm. If you're reading this, send a jar of my favorite pickles and the blueprints for a ship to the Isle of Saren, Thanatos building. So, Thanatos wrote this message, cast out to sea, and Hummel just happened to find it? Then Hummel went out of his way to deliver the contents of this message to Thanatos. Am I understanding this correctly? Hmm. I never expected anyone to find it. I only did it for laughs. Well, should sock someone showed up to deliver those things. There was a jewel in the bottle as payment. I know, Kia. Upon receiving payment, a contract is formed. I'm obliged to deliver what is requested of me. Did, 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 did he just twinkle? <laughs> you really are a professional. Hmm. 
Quite a sense of humor, too. I fail to see what's so humorous about this. What's wrong, Alexia? Not hungry or something? It's odd. Did you really not notice what was mentioned just now? <laughs> the pickles, obviously. Come on. Or little all the egg needs pickles. Blueprints for a ship. Yes, Hummel had blueprints for a ship. Blueprints for a ship. Ah, you mean we could use them to build a ship and get off this island? Yes, it's the one thing we've desperately needed. You had those blueprints with you the whole time, Hummel. Why didn't you say anything? Transporter must never reveal the contents of a package to anyone but the intended recipient. Trust is the foundation of this line of work. I'm not going to dispute that, but... I'm just so infuriated by... Uh, so irritated by how irritated I am right now. Those axe. At least from what you told me, building a ship isn't going to solve all your problems. That's true. There you go, Adol. You guys can have these blueprints. Oh, thank you. I know I can trust you guys, because Ricotta is already vouched for you. And it makes sense to build the ship at Castaway Village, since so many people are already there. So now what? Should we head back to the village and start building the ship, Dogi and the others? Uh, not just... That's right, like Thanatos said, building a ship won't solve all our problems. We still need to deal with that marine primordial. It's also the matter of Adol's dreams. Why don't we continue heading north as we explore? We still haven't reached the temple that Adol told us about. Hmm, what temple? I guess that has asked for an explanation, so Adel explained the dreams he'd been having. So, so that wasn't included in in the explanation from earlier. Um, it's quite an extraordinary story, so I understand if you don't believe it. I don't believe it. Huh? I wasn't mistaken. What I saw was real. Mm -hmm. Father? I think Adol should see for himself and listen to me explain it. There's a temple south here that might be the one you're looking for. Come on, Adol. Right into the Temple of the Great Tree. Uh, Alright. Yeah, <laughs> starting to get excited now. But then, what's... what what's down here? Come on, just, just jump off. It'll be fine. Only a pit of water. Crystal. Look. Dead end. And the path to the entrance is collapsed. 
I came here before, but I ended up turning back for the same reason. Isn't that crystal over there the same one as the one you told me about? Uh, perhaps. Maybe if Adol touches it, the same thing will happen as last time. Adol! Touch it, Adol! We want you to faint, Adol! We want you to faint! Do it! Do it now! Did it work, Donna? Yes. Adol has successfully reached the capital. A root from the prayer tree sapling I planted became a path for him to walk on. I can't believe you actually used a sacred prayer tree in this manner. You always surprise me with your unorthodox approaches to problem solving. <laughs> I don't know about unorthodox, but at least now I know for certain Adol and his companions are traveling through the ruins of Aegeus. I don't know how far into the future he is, but the remnants of our kingdom surround him. I do not want to accept this. But civilizations, no matter how much prosperity they enjoy, must come to an end someday. Not even Eternia can escape that fate, it seems. The real question is when that fate will arrive. Hmm. And perhaps we should inform Queen Sarai. I think it's just too soon for that. There's still so much we don't know. So much we don't know, Dana. Don't, don't tell me you're suggesting. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Olga. You can learn more by observing Adol as he advances his exploration. Besides, I'm the only one who can help him by planting prayer tree saplings. I need you to cover for me while I'm gone so I can find out what happens to Eternia. Same old Donna, I see. Fine, I'll do what I can. Though at this point, I don't know how much more I can do for you. Thank you, Olga. Where will you go first? Adol is making his way towards the Temple of the Great Tree. But... I think I'll start by heading towards the outskirts south of the capital. Understood. I'll let everyone know that you are away on a pilgrimage. Hmm. Safe travels. Yes. Thank you again for covering for me. Farewell. Freedom! I mean, what? Alexandria. Take care. Military fan. Hey, can we like uh, unlock this door or something? Lock the door. Hey, do you have the key of this door? Maiden. This way. If you intend to go out, I strongly suggest you bring an escort. Say the word and I will gladly dispatch some guards to accompany you. I hope you'll at least consider it. Yes, Kia.
Okay. Yeah, I did the other one. I just didn't even realize it was a side quest. This is so surreal. Basically. Here. I mean, they end up being subquests because of what they are, but, uh... More like, check out the points of interest. Oh no, I think I dropped my key. What should I do? Maybe if I apologize, they'll forgive me. Um, is something wrong? Well, I was in such a hurry that I tripped while I was running. And when I fell, I think I might have dropped the key I had borrowed. It's the key of the guard's warehouse. I was borrowing it because I always have to deliver stuff there. That's not good. Would you like me to help you find it? I don't know if it can be found. I don't even know where I dropped it. Plus, the key itself is pretty heavy. It only sank down to the bottom. I see. But if that's the case... Hmm? Let me try something. A heavy key at the bottom of the water. The water certainly looks cloudy, but if I create an eye in the water... Is this the key you're looking for? Yeah, that's it, all right. I don't know what you did, but that was amazing. I can't believe my eyes. You didn't even use essence equipment. That was all with your own essence. Uh, who are you? Mm, think of me as a wandering passerby. By the way, you should tell the owner of that key that you dropped it in the water. An essence key that complex shouldn't be submerged in the water. You're right, I'll return it at once. Sure hope the guards forgive me. They might get suspicious if I tell them a passerby recovered it for me. That's true. Allow me to write a letter on your behalf then. I used some paper and wrote a letter explaining what had happened. Um paper. From where? Oh wait, that's right. From the same place everything else comes from. If you present this to the guards, I'm certain they'll believe you. The watermark on this paper, the Temple of the Great Tree. Uh, <laughs> wow. Maiden of the Great Tree, thank you so much. I hope they forgive you. Blessings of the Great Tree be upon you. And man apologize many times before finally heading towards the guard station. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what it is. Okay. That's where... 
feeling a bit turned around. It's above me. Seek with me and another girl. I can't find either of them anywhere. What if a bad person kidnapped them? I hope that's not the case. Who's this other girl? Did you make a new friend? Yes, I just met her this morning. She's got fluffy pink hair and she's really cute. And she might be a year or two older than me. Happens to them, it'll be all my fault. <laughs> I know. Hello. You know, I was just asking earlier about follow up to that thief. Calm down, Sia. Tell me worried about them. I don't know about her new friend, but we is good at finding places to hide. I think I'll need to help her. Yes, the beef. Where's the beef? See, I'm gonna help you find them, so don't worry, okay? After all, if two people are hiding, then two people need to look for them. I'm sure we can find them if we look together. Maiden. Thank you so much. Please help me find Mia. <laughs> I'm pretty good at hide and seek myself, so just leave it to me. Is it technically cheating if I use essence to find them? Well, I'm sure they're still somewhere in the capital. Let's try and find places where little kids might hide. Yes, I don't know. Is it cheating? Is it cheating to use essence? This crystal supplies essence to the kingdom. Looks like everything is in order here. Wait, is that? I thought I sensed something strange. I'm just imagining things. I still have much to learn. Oh well, I need to look for Mia right now. The palace is up ahead, as well as other important establishments. Knowing Mia, I'm all but certain she went there. Isn't this the maiden? Great <laughs> Seagull is starting to get too big, so I decided to let him take the lead. Actually a very simple job, but look at how he's panicking. I'm now Rince, get the let out. We're not ruin all the work the maiden has done for us. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Why? This should work in theory. Is the temperature affecting the results? But this discrepancy is far too drastic. How am I falling so far behind compared to what this flimsy plan? Yeah. Royal Palace of Eternia. It takes my breath away every time I see it. How much longer it will continue to look like this? I didn't do a flashback to it just being missing. <laughs> and from Adel's point of view. You are Mia. Huh? Maiden? You surprised me. I'm playing hide and seek. <laughs> uh, I think you picked your hiding spot too well this time. See, has been in tears because she couldn't find you. Mm, she always cries when I'm too good at hide and seek. 
I guess he always liked that. She didn't have to cry about it. I think it's because she's better at different things compared to you. There are things that Olga and Queen Sarai excel at that I can't do. But because we're good at different things, we can help each other out. Oh, I see. Yeah, there are some things that Sia beats me at. Same goes for that other girl. Oh, yeah? Uh, Maiden? Uh, were you able to find the other girl? You mean that girl you befriended today? No, not yet. Oh, I knew it. Me and her were trying to see who's best at hiding. As she said, I'm gonna hide at my favorite spot, and ran off. Tried to chase after her and find her before Sia did, but... You mean you couldn't find her either, Mia? Looked everywhere she could have hid, but I couldn't find her anywhere. And then I had to find some place for me to hide before I ran out of time. It's so unfair, Maiden. Okay, okay, calm down, Mia. It's better hiding than Mia, that's a surprise. Her favorite spot, huh? This might be harder than I thought. Mia, do you remember which way she went? She ran north after we split up at the stupa. This is the only area north of the stupa, though. I can't find her anywhere. It's not like she could have entered the palace, so where'd she go? Now that I think about it, I remember she didn't see a strange presence at the stupa. Might be worth checking out. Mia, could you go back to Sia? You two should at least make up, okay? Okay, I know. That means it's up to you to avenge me, Maiden. I won't let you down. like Odo and the others are away. I should have spoken to them earlier. Did speak to them. We just didn't speak to them about this. Presence again. It's nature this time. Something seems different about it. So I should do some investigating. Hmm. The statue is emitting light. Since light, what's this doing here? The statues aren't emitting light. I didn't know this existed. I haven't been able to find that girl anywhere. Now that I've found this place, I definitely need to explore it. Okay, here goes nothing. Is there some reason no one knows what about this spot except for that girl? Sanctuary Crypt, Chamber of Braziers. Yeah, it's not exactly a quiet, <laughs> a quiet way of entry. What is this place? An elaborate ruin. It looks like some sort of sanctuary. Or knew this existed beneath the stupa. Doesn't seem like there are any other people down here. But enemy and statues are patrolling the area. I need to be careful. I 
never knew something like this existed beneath the capital. This won't be easy. I need to be careful. Where? Out of view. Some doors are sealed by a brazier and will not open. Oh, this is not good. The brazier has been lit. We have to those birds. Now, I don't know why they told me that some places are sealed but I had to put out a torch just to get in here in the first place Finally, I am free. I know not who you are, but I think you're all the same. What? An attorney? In? Is it lively, spirit? My name is Donna. I'm glad you're safe. Uh, I'm Amy. I am known as the spirit of possessions. I apologize, um, I'm, I'm not the best friend, people. <laughs> That's okay. Possessions, I recall, there are spirits which dwell in items and essence equipment. Maybe she had a bad experience with people in the past. Oh, may I ask you a question? Have you seen a little girl around here? She might have passed through recently. Little girl. Hmm. I have been focused on gathering possessions and not seen anyone. 
I see. I was wandering around here searching for any possessions I might come across. I had not expected such a dreadful trap to be set near that beautiful glass orb. Had you not been here, I could have faded away. Ah, I know. I may be a simple spirit who collects possessions. But I wish to repay you. Please take this possession with you. Very, very, very rare. I've heard that spirits sometimes have powerful treasures. Ah, well, I have those as well. Uh, let me see what I'm willing to part with. Ooh, a bottle, yes, very, very, very rare. Incredible, this medicine has been infused with essence. Are you sure I can have this? Yes, you saved my life after all. But I require payment for any future transactions, understand? We spurns fancy jewels known as essence fragments. Should you have any, I will trade you items in exchange. <laughs> Thank you. Found that little girl yet, but the spirit should be helpful in the future. You explore this ruin for possessions each and every day. Should you desire possession, please come to me, Donna. Yay! I can now collect money! Yeah, great. Hello. Oh, I guess it's not a bottle. I guess it's just an edible medicine capsule. I'm so glad I now have something that causes poison, since I'm sure that these statues are weak to it. Donna, where have you wandered off to this time? Oh, how did you know? Well, you've been gone for a while. You might not have excuses for me. Sorry. Don't worry. I'll take care of this quickly. Juke to your birds. Wait, I can't actually poison poison statues? It's silly.
Yeah, Olga, see, I, I'm, I'm under the stupa. Uh, we can get some rest. Big robot. You awakened as your dragon armor, Garazios. Hi. This must be the garden of the sanctuary. That little girl wandered in here. She could be in danger. Forgive me, but I must defeat you.
Only exploding things underneath the stupa, no big deal. Should do it. Wait, could that be? And the wheel of eternity. An archival monolith. It looks quite old, too. I wonder how long this has been here. works impressive what is this in the beginning was the sage the sage a wise man of enduring intelligence embarked on the long journey when he discovered a colossal tree seating himself at the foot of the tree the sage began to meditate, and in his trance, a mysterious power was revealed to him. Lots of stuff is capitalized here. The sage could read the wind as easily as a bird. He achieved mastery over the elements of fire and water. He could even see dis future events yet to occur in distant lands. The sage had tapped into the power which governed the very laws of nature and he saw fit to call it Essence. When the sage returned to his homeland, he used Essence to drive out the Saurians that threatened his people. Freed from the threat that has plagued them for so long, peace had finally come to the sage's homeland. The people honored the sage, learned from him the art of Essence, and with it achieved untold prosperity. With his newfound influence, the sage assembled his people and established a nation. So it was his radiance, Light King Alkea, became the first king of Eternia. Is this the founding of Eternia? This account seems slightly different from the story we were told as children. I thought the Light King came from an area near the Great Tree. <laughs> Which version of events is true, I wonder? Huh? Don't they say facts are often stranger than fiction? I certainly think that's true. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Seriously? Nico Nico Ni? Did Sia send you to come find me? You! You must be the girl who was playing hide and seek! <sighs> we finally found you! <laughs> found me? No, I just came out of hiding for you. You must be pretty good to make it all the way here. But that's still not good enough to catch me! So you must be Eo. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. You have met her somewhere before. I know you're playing hide and seek, but you still shouldn't have come in here. Come along. I'll take you back home. Huh? Nah, I want to play some more. But if you're going to be all pushy about it, then I guess I'll go with you. Mm-hmm. Today's going to be so much fun. On second thought, no, wait. That would be best since I need to get her out of here. But afterward, I need to check the spot where I saw that swordsman. Well, aren't you thinking super hard about something? <laughs> well, regardless, we have to go back up to the surface. Stay
Stay close and follow me, Eo. Hold on a sec. Say, what do you suppose that is over there? A door? Don't you want to check it out? <laughs> Let's take a closer look at it before we go back. Oh, gosh. Honestly, Eo, I guess I'm a little curious about it, too. This sanctuary might run deeper than I thought. <clears throat> Just a quick look, okay? But even if there is more to this place, I'm only taking you as far as that door. Yay! Let's go! Anna places her hand on the door, but the door is shut tight and will not budge. Ah, fwee! You may be cute, but she is quite odd for a little girl. Look at these words engraved in the door. They're written in Old Eternian. Only the virtuous may enter. Huh? I wonder what that means. I'm not sure either. Maybe you'll only open under the right conditions. Anyway, I'm sorry, but this is as far as we're going. Let's get out of here. He is worried about you. Uh, you're right. Okay, let's go back. Here, let me explain this to you, which is probably pretty clear already, but... Stun duration up, random. Return to the surface. Let's go. And so Donna and Eo returned to the girls who, by this point, had grown tired of waiting. Ah, I didn't think I was gonna lose this bad at hide and seek. <laughs> Looks like I'm the champion today. Challenge you again tomorrow. Yeah, you, know, you cheated. Come on, you guys. You both really worried me. I was this close to getting the guards to go look for you. Okay, okay. Sorry, I got a little carried away. I didn't think it'd end up being such a big deal. <laughs> Still, you're lucky to have people who worry about you. Don't ever forget that. Maiden. Yeah. Mia, don't cause too much trouble for Sia. Always be nice to her, okay? <laughs> yep, I will. I definitely learned my lesson this time. From now on, the only time I'll make Sia cry is when I tell her scary stories about the Requiem Festival. Okay. <laughs> no one will make Sia cry except me. story about an immortal guardian. <laughs> Stop it, you guys! <laughs> Thanks for today, Maiden. Here, take this. It's treasure that me and Sia found. Mm -hmm. Rim flowers. Are you sure? Isn't this important? It's okay, really. Right, Sia? Yes. If we look together, I'm sure we can find more of them. Okay. Then I'm happy to accept this. Thank this you, mean. Ansia. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for looking out for us. Okay, we're gonna go back to our mom. Bye-bye! Goodbye! Yes! Great job! Mm, twin sisters. How oh, heartwarming. Yeah, then, Eo. I think it would be best if you went straight home. You need me to escort you. Hmm, I'm not 
love that little, you know, besides. I'm in the middle of looking for something. Looking for something. I can help you if you like. <clears throat> That's okay. I've been looking for it for a while now, but I think I've nearly found it. Is that so? I'm not sure I understand, but can you at least promise you'll go home before it gets dark? Yep, yep, I will. I think I'll just wander around this area for a bit. You don't need to worry about me. Okay, I promise I won't worry. Now then, I need to head to the crystal near the temple. That'll wait for me. That bridge up ahead has fallen. In that case... Uh, we can get some rest. Let's open a path for Adol. Are you okay, Adol? Hmm? Oh. oh, this is incredible. It's almost like the trees are trying to prevent the bridge from collapsing. Now we can keep going! It's one thing to hear you guys describe this, but it's another thing entirely to actually see it. And I'll explain that Donna's deliberately trying to help him. C could that really be true? That must mean she's aware of Adol's actions, too. Either way, now we can move on. Yes, let's go to the Temple of the Giant Tree. Of the Great Tree. In certain crystals that you play as Donna in the past. Donna's actions will affect Adol's era. That's my cross. The landscape might change. You can still switch to Donna by touching a crystal even after her event is over. For being the title character, her green, like, very part time. What is this building, Father? It's the mountain That's very gate odd. that leads to the temple. The people here must have worshipped that big tree, just like Adol said. There used to be an altar. This is where Donna had come out. I'll do the water one. Here we are. Temple of the Great Tree. We could see this from Gendarm, but now it's right here in front of us. 
Now I'm at this old place. Thing, thing of beauty back in its heyday. How quiet here. Hmm. This is likely a nesting ground for beasts and primordials. I wonder if the tree behind the temple is the Great Tree of Origins. All right. Let's get a closer look. I bet this place is a nesting ground for primordials. Great, let's get a closer look. Look at all the fish! You don't say. Where? Really, where? Come on. Here we go. There. Now I found one that's that's arguably as big as Rakota. its own. Strange mechanism. I wonder how it functions. It functions by using essence. room was for. I have no idea, but that hole we used to get in here seemed like a hidden door. Oh, it's Donna's room! the dust cover the faded altar. Means of a dilapidated bed that looks somehow familiar. Somehow. to go. Oh, hi.
Adulta le va. Victory! <laughs> Apparently the jars contain stuff. You know, considering they're always, oh, look at that, look at, look at what we found, look, look. And then we just completely ignore, ignore these jars. So what nasty thing is in here? That thing! I can see it already. Mm -hmm. You, uh... Hmm. Check out this weird looking statue. Yeah, yeah, this, this statue. Sure. The strength its form exudes is quite palpable. Still, this is an odd spot to erect a statue. Oh, gosh. Having them speak right after each other is jarring.
Masterless Sanctuary Protector Brachion. Ah, what's happening? <laughs> All men sound equal. Isn't that in the cons in, in the United States Constitution? All men are created equal. It's a moving statue. I read about that in a book once. That was just a story, Rakota. Statues can't really move. I know, Kia. Then why is this one moving? How should I know? Get ready, everyone. <laughs> Statues don't really move. Yeah, and Saurians don't ex Saurian <laughs> and primordials are extinct. Jump right into it. Firing laser beams at us. That's over. I didn't expect that statue to come to life. It must have been powered by the Kingdom of Eternia. It's the magic from the stories I've read. Did the people who live here use magic? Maybe. Donna said her people wielded a mystical power. They called that power Essence. Maybe that's what was powering the statue. You know, if if they'd start going into the into this tirade about how magic doesn't exist, I th I think I would have kicked someone. If 
Because Adel would have to go, wait, wait, wait a moment, I've used magic before. By the way, they must have been a highly advanced civilization. At any rate, our path is clear now. Let's move on. Look at that. This must be the Great Tree of Origins. You know, just the little tree in the backyard. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. At all, go see for yourself what's at the base of the tree. Um, I don't. Why aren't we all going? We have options. Multiple trunks have become tangled here. Never heard of a tree that could grow so large. I wonder what Thanatos wanted to show us here. Uh, take it in, it's a magnificent sight. And it was no mistake. Over the tree, go and see it with your own eyes. So Thanatos has somehow been in here before, despite the fact that the bridge is broken, and there's a guardian. I've never seen such a big tree. I don't know how to describe it. Does this mean I'm speechless? the tree. I can barely see it, but do you think? Nah, it couldn't be. It's overwhelming presence. This is the great tree of origins. Looking at it up close, you can almost feel eternity itself. Oh. Huh. Donna? Are you? I remember. Because it technically hasn't hey, happened yet. Hmm. I saw this girl from the sky when the pterosaur captured me. Oh, uh, okay. That's how you saw it. And after I heard that old story. I put two and two together. <laughs> My dream wife. <laughs> Did you just say Donna? Is that her? Found at all. Found at all. What's going on? Castaway village in trouble. Raid incoming. Repeat. Raid incoming. A raid? Now? I think we should take her back to the village at once. Doki and the others need to know about all this. About what we've seen up here, about Thanatos, and about her. 
between Pero and Ricotta? Yes, it was. That seems wise. Man, I don't know what's going on anymore. While traveling in a land populated by primordials, Edel discovered long forgotten ruins. At the end of his journey, he found Donna, the girl who had been appearing in his dreams. The northern region of the island contained the remains of the ancient kingdom of Eternia. If Donna is supposed to be from the past, why did we find her sleeping in the ruins of Eternia? Edel ruminated over this mysterious turn of events as he hurried back to the village. Tip incoming. Despite what you might think, girls do not grow on trees. That was just an exception. This is all we can do. Is Donna okay? Yes, according to Licht, she's in stable health. I thought Donna was a person from the distant past. Maybe the Kingdom of Eternia existed more recently than we thought. Hmm, I don't know about that. That wouldn't explain why the Kingdom has been reduced to ruins. That's a good point. She's got a symbol on her shoulder. Symbol? Oh, I hadn't noticed that before now. I sure noticed it. <laughs> sort of resembles an eye. Might be an aspect of Eternian culture, or possibly proof that she was the maiden. Yes, perhaps. Uh, she didn't have the... Didn't have that mark when... During the dream sequences. Now, gentlemen, I think that's quite enough leering for today. Adol. Are you finished, Adol? You're on. Yeah, we're freed up for now. Uh, that's the girl everyone's talking about, huh? Even after seeing you guys bring her here, I still can't believe you found her sleeping in those ruins. Uh, well, anyway, Dogi has found something he wants to talk to you about. You guys should head to the Bitwood Center. And... This... Chapter 5. Aiden of the Great Tree. Runes of a lost civilization, and a girl who's been appearing in your dreams? I couldn't have imagined you'd find all that on the north side of the island. If you hadn't brought her back, I would have said you guys were losing her or something. You don't seem all that surprised, though. Thanatos, right? Hang around Adol long enough, and you'll build up a tolerance to his crazy stories. Or, in my case, complete immunity. Oh, well, the color me intrigued. You'll have to reg regale me with your tales of your adventures someday, Adolf. Sure thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I apologize, but we really do need to move on to more pressing concerns. It's obvious that a great mystery lies at the heart of this deserted island. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. And though we got ship blueprints, we're not out of the woods just yet. We have to survive the beast raids long enough to see the damn thing built. And it's also become obvious that the primordials are getting more aggressive. Which makes it all the more crucial that we learn as much as we can about this island. We can try to get some answers from D Dana once she wakes up.
No, explorers are just looking to find information. Adventurers are looking for trouble. I want Donna to be a part of our family. <laughs> she seems to have lost her memories, which means it's unclear whether she'll even help us. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't think that'll be an issue. I see. I hope you're right. Well, in Adam's dreams, at least, she seemed eager to help out. Either way, we can't talk to her until she wakes up. And we've got a raid incoming. Adam, let's focus our attention on the enemies at our gates. going to be where I save and uh, we stop.